Ted Exclusive, it is considered one of the most notorious murders in Arizona history during the summer of 1976. Journalist Don Bowles was killed when a car bomb exploded. He was horribly injured outside the Clarendon Hotel and died more than a week later. Bowles was set to meet with an informant that day regarding a story involving corruption, involving politicians and the mob. That meeting never happened. Before he died, Bowles blamed the bombing on the mob and others. Three men, all with mob ties, would later be implicated in that bombing. But his death would expose an underworld of corruption that many knew, or many thought never existed in Phoenix during that time. But now in an exclusive interview, an Arizona filmmaker tells me that he is ready to turn Bowles' story and legacy into a film. I think that this is the most important story in Arizona history. And now that story is about to hit the big screen. Filmmaker Travis Mills delving into the deep, dark secrets of corruption that plagued the Valley of the Sun in the late 1970s and ultimately led to Bowles' assassination outside of the Clarendon Hotel. Among the palm trees and sunshine here in Phoenix, something darker was lurking in the shadows. It's a moment where, just like when you come of age, you lose your innocence. It's a moment where Phoenix lost its innocence. The film looks at the aftermath of the bombing and its ripple effects and how it created a sense of paranoia among many in the valley. This movie is like Chinatown or L.A. Confidential meets all the president's men. It doesn't point any fingers, but it speculates that really there were power brokers in Phoenix that were controlling the city. Mills is no stranger to documenting the people that make up Arizona's notorious history. His current film, Durant's Never Closes, focuses on the story of Jack Durant, the notorious restaurateur, whose close relationship with the mob still remains a mystery. What exactly happened to Don Bowles and why is also still a mystery. Mills believes he has an understanding of the reporter who may have gotten too close to the truth. I think Don Bowles stood the pot. And I think he stood it enough that he made some people here uncomfortable. And Don Bowles got a little too close to that, and that's what killed him. Mills tells me they are still casting the film right now. They hope to begin shooting sometime next year. And he says they plan on shooting entirely in Arizona, but admits that recreating the look and feel of Phoenix during the mid-70s will be a challenge because it's really I mean, the Clarendon has changed. We met there today. Even it's in just amazing. the past five, six years, especially the downtown area has changed so drastically. Right. They may do some shooting in Tucson to try to recreate the feel because some of the places in Tucson will look very much like they did back in 1970. I think it's to see. Yeah. Excellent interview. Thanks, John.